I know it's been quite a while since you've seen me here in my dojo, you can say. But, you know, might as well come back to it, right? Because I have decided that I want to use my old phone instead of my new phone because my new phone's battery is as crappy as a 5 year old, I don't know, iPhone 15. So, anyway, let's continue. With this in mind, um, Xbox Showcase and Ubisoft showcase happened about a, about a couple of days ago and there were actually three games i'm very excited for um that i'm really excited for i just want to talk about it and like why am i uh, why am i excited for it and you know what can i expect from it but so there are only three games out there that i'm actually physically excited for and i guess there's like one honorable mention i can say i guess so i think before we start that i can do like an honorable mention so this honorable mention thing right here is actually a turn-based type of game uh, and it was shown on um, Xbox Showcase and that's called Expedition 33 I believe so um, hold on let me uh, research that real quick I'm pretty sure it's called Expedition 33 right or well, probably Expedition 34 no Expedition 33 so Expedition 33 um, I think it's I think it's like a new yeah Expedition 33 uh, Claire's Upscore Expedition 33 um, it's a turn-based type of game that actually looks really, really cool. Now, for me, when it comes to turn-based games, I don't really like. I'm, I don't really care for it. I like turn-based games. I know there are some people who freaking despite like freaking despair turn-based games because it's just boring as hell. Um, but for me, I think turn-based games are pretty fun. Like Persona and, and like the ones that I really grew up with was on um, Angry Birds Epic. Um, now, I was absolutely a baller at Angry Birds Epic. Uh, if you were to reverse me in that game, I would clap you immediately because that game, I, I freaking wanted that game like freaking like a roomscape player. So, you know, I was like that. So, turn based games actually do have a deep childhood in me. And when I saw Expedition 33 on the, um, on the, uh, <clears throat> Xbox showcase, I was actually pogging my seat like, because that actually looks exciting. The gameplay, the animations, the characters, the setting, the music, the graphics, it, it looks so freaking good. And I think that was something I didn't expect to come out, but now that I saw a trailer of it, I'm like, wow, you know what, maybe when it does come out, I might cop it, I might actually try and play it. Um, so that sounds really, really fun, <clears throat> and if it's over, and if it's like on sale or something like that, I'll probably get it and cop it, I'll probably make, make a freaking review about it, but the Expedition 33 looks really good, and I might play that too. <clears throat> so, I don't mention out of the way, let's get into the three games that I most... Um, excited for. So the first one is obviously Assassin's Creed Shadows. Um, I've seen the gameplay for Assassin's Creed Shadows and by god that is the most cool thing I've ever seen. Uh, this game though, like ever since the trailer drop, has a lot of hate towards it. I don't know why, I don't know why, but like the, the way the gameplay looks is cool. I like it. I love both characters, but I'm, but you know me. Um, I'm a um, OG Assassin's Creed player, so I'll probably play Naoi the most because she's more stealth based. Um, but I might, you know, I might go in there with Yasuki, you know, I'll probably like, you know, freaking make Muckus. I want everything. I think the gameplay for that game is good. I think I like it. I like the exploration, I like the setting, I like the world. Um, the way Yasuki is, is like the freaking grown man who's like, I'm the beast. Like, I'm gonna chop everything, I'm gonna pick his head, I'm gonna smash it, slice. You know, your average samurai. And there was this one thing I want to point out. Um, when you walk as Yusuke around the world, it showed in the gameplay, you actually get bowed at. So, like, um, everybody will look at you and then, like, bow to show respect because you are a samurai. And I find that very cool. Like, a cool, like, uh, like sudden detail in it. It's pretty cool. I like it. Um, but the one I'm really most excited for about this game is Naoi. Um, the, Naoi's stealth in this game is actually amazing. I might even say that this stealth is better than Unity. Like the way this stealth is, is very in depth. You can prone, you can shoot lights, you can breathe underwater, you can hang on walls, assassinate, do flips, grappling hook, you know, <clears throat> kunai's, throwing stars, um, katanas, uh, flicking, I forgot, what the, I forgot what the spitting thing is called, but you also have that too when it comes to combat. Um, but the stealth in this game is really cool. You can grab people, like you're freaking scorpion, you're freaking get over here and like assassinate them. It's so cool. I love Naoi's stealth just by the gameplay alone. And probably <clears throat> will be like the best stealth in Assassin's Creed so far. <clears throat> but there was like one major disappointment about this game. 
and it's a poke hole. Um, I have not seen any poke hole of this game. I think the poke hole will probably be dookie hole. Um, the only like sudden poke hole you got was like now we like dive rolling, um, doing flips, and doing your average like climbing. And they also use some of the Hala's like climbing animation, so you like you can like see like now we like pushing yourself up with like a two feet like over. Um, that's definitely from Valhalla, but you know, <clears throat> at least the stealth got it because I'm a stealthy guy. Um, but when it comes to Assassin's Creed, Pulp Core isn't my main thing, but obviously Pulp Core is very fun in this game, so yeah. Um, so Assassin's Creed Shadows looks very, very cool. I like it. <clears throat> so, coming in at my second favorite game coming up, <clears throat> and that's going to be Killer Bean. I think Killer Bean, the Killer Bean game that's coming out, I don't think it was shown at Ubisoft or Xbox Showcase. But this is a game that looks really, really good. <clears throat> so this game and Call of Duty both have the same thing with dive like um, uh, max pain mechanics, so you can like dive and shoot, go in slow motion and all that. But I feel like Killer Bean does this way better than the freaking Black Ops Six trailer. Um, the way like Killer Bean is is exactly from the movie. Um, if you've seen the Killer Bean movie, and that movie is a masterpiece, I, I can say. Um, you can do all the moves, like, you know, taking the grenade and going over under oh, my kick table. Um, taking the grenade, taking the grenade, going under the, uh, your legs and throwing it to the enemies. You can do break dance, shooting, you can dive, shoot, first person mode, driving, open world, same cool one liner. It's like, this game looks amazing. Um, the gameplay will probably be out of this world. Like, I think the, uh, Jeff Liu, I think he's the one who made this game. Uh, outdid himself like for him being like a single developer making this amazing game it is it, it's, it's honestly very cool it's, a, it's it's accomplishing you can say too um this might be a very close john wick game and i have heard that there was a john wick game coming out a triple a one that's also sounds intriguing but this killer bean game looks amazing but there was like one thing that's a little like dusty out there and it's a story i don't i haven't seen like any story of the Killer Bee game other than gameplay because the gameplay looks pff, spot on freaking dying light level gameplay but the story in this game I don't know I never I the, the, I hope there'll be story in this game but because you know games nowadays they involved they need to have a story of some sort um so I feel like the story would be kind of weak but I don't know I haven't seen any story he's probably you know waking up the most like freaking magnum opus Lord of the Wings type story out there and if that's the case this might be freaking game of the year you can say but the Killer Bean game is honestly very intriguing. I can't wait to play it. I hope it comes out on Xbox because I am a console player. Um, maybe when I go older, I might get a PC so I can probably um, buy it myself or pirate it. You know. Shh. Um, my father was so on my lips. I wasn't supposed to be sexual. But um, this Killer Bean game looks uh, obviously amazing. It looks so good. It looks so good. <clears throat> and I can't wait to play it. Um, Jeff Lou out there. Jeff Lou, if you're out there, if you're watching this video, which I highly doubt you are, good job, man. Yo, amazing. I love your Killer Bean series. Um, I hope I can get like an um, auto, autograph by you one day. So yeah, um, Killer Bean game looks honestly very amazing. So the last game I'm looking forward to is actually a free-to-play game, if you believe it, because for some reason everything has to be free-to-play nowadays. But <clears throat> this free-to-play game actually has something special in my heart. And this free-to-play game is none other than Stealth. Stealth? I'm not Stealth. I mean Skate. I don't know how I said Stealth. It's Skate. The Skate 4, basically. And obviously, there's... What else I'm going to say about this game? If you love Skate 3, I'm pretty sure you'll love Skate 4. Basically, Skate th Skate 4 is just Skate 3, but improved mechanics, improved tricks, more tricks, and a big online open world game, basically. <clears throat> so, playing with friends is... I think it's strictly online, too, which is kind of mildly disappointing. But, you know, it might be fun, and it's free to play, so everybody can play it. Old gen, new gen, whatever gen. Potato gen, you know, any gen can play it. And that's fun. I like that. Um, I saw a lot of the gameplay. I saw a lot of the pre pre alpha gameplay, pre alpha gameplay, pre 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 alpha gameplay. I saw all the gameplays. And this game looks honestly amazing. You can do pop core, you can climb, wall one, you can freaking Assassin's Creed climb, you can do skate tricks, you can fly, you can hit friends, you can skate with friends, you can do like a whole freaking MMORPG role play in this game. Like, it, it, it's unbelievable. And this game looks really good. Um, and there will be microtransactions because I really do hate microtransactions. Um, but <clears throat> I did hear, I hope this is true, but I did hear from one developers that microtransactions will strictly be for cosmetics. And I have no problem for that. Um, if you, if um, games have microtransactions, 
purely for cosmetics. I ain't completely fine with that. But if there are microtransactions for like any like gameplay like, like new guns, like a good like freaking if you spend like five dollars on this game, I'll give you like the best gun in the game. That's not good. That just kills the game for everybody. That's just called pay to win. And we all know that pay to win games suck butt cheeks. <laughs> we all know pay to win games suck butt cheeks. So yeah. <clears throat> but Skate 4 honestly looks amazing. I can't wait for that game. And to play it. Hopefully I'll play it. And I might <clears throat> do like a whole Skate 3 get up, get better at that game. Because <clears throat> cause I was very good at Skate 3. Um, I was actually to a point where I can actually like probably like join like a trick mining team. Um, but I decided not to because I just quit like mid game because there were other games I wanted to play. But Skate 4 overall looks really good. <clears throat> and I guess we can do like one more honorable mention I can say. Um, there's just one more, there's just one other honorable mention I want to talk about. And it's like this little game that's popping up made by a single developer. Um, and it's called Rooftop and Alleys. So Rooftop and Alleys is a um, pop core game. Uh, there are a lot of people playing right now, and it looks spot on. It, it, it's basically Tony Hawk or, or Skate 3, but pop core. Like, you can do so many things in that game, like freaking flipping, aerial tricks, Arabians, cartwheels, court works. Um, I forgot what they call like the, the, the finger thingy, not the finger, the, the, it's called something like a setup or something. Like, you can do a lot of things in that game, back handsprings, turn to a pigeon, you know, precision jumps, climbing, there, there's a lot of things you can do in that um, game. And I just want to like talk about that because that is made by a single developer. And I feel like we were in the time period where I feel like double A games and indie games would be like the future of gaming because we all know that triple A games or quadruple A games if you can say. Um, are failing, or freaking burning, crashing and burning down into the ashes because of how bad they are becoming now. So I feel like double A and triple A games are getting a lot of like phase now. Because most of the games I talked about was basically double A in indie games. So, Rooftop and Alley style looks really good. I want to play that. Hopefully it will come on a console because I know that the developer is working on that. And I might cop it. I might not, actually no, I'll cop it no matter how much you make it. $100, $500, I don't care, I'll cop that because the gameplay for that game is amazing. Um, it is still in early access, but hopefully when the full game comes out, <clears throat> it will be a very good game. So I just want to talk, make a little video talking about some of the games I'm excited for right now because I am a freaking full time, not full time, I am, I'm just joking because I am a gamer myself, I do as a hobby and I'm excited for these games um, so hopefully there will be more games out there that can make me more excited like this so yeah, that's all I want to talk about today, thanks for watching